Golden Nugget Online Gaming, ticker symbol GNOG, is going public via an acquisition by Lancadia Holdings, ticker symbol LCA. This is gonna be a juicy one. What is happening investors? It is your boy Jack, I am not a financial advisor, and today we're speaking all about the new kid on the block, Golden Nugget Online Gaming. First of all, who are they, okay? They're an online casino business. That is what they are in its simplest form. You can go onto their website and you can bet your hard earned money on table games like roulette or blackjack or on online slots. And this will make GNOG the second online casino operator to purely trade off the VUS stock exchange straight after DraftKings. Since this news has come out, we have seen the ticker symbol LCA go up over 60% in value over the matter of a week or so. But this is nothing new for a SPAC stock whatsoever. And there are six main points we are going to be covering in today's video. The first one is, what is a SPAC stock? I will make it really, really quick, but if you don't know, I will answer that question. Second one is some of GNOG's highlights. You know, are they a profitable business? What do they actually do that makes them worth investing in? Three, online gambling popularity and the growing market. Four, what will the acquisition actually look like? You know, what kind of market cap and balance sheet can we expect to see? Five, some key points from their investor presentation. This literally only just came out on June 29th. And if you are considering investing in this company, please read that from start to finish. It has so much useful information. And last but certainly not least, point number six is will I be buying the company or do I have any plans to buy them? Gambling and online gambling in particular are getting more and more popular every single year. So is this company worth taking the gamble on? Right before we try and answer that question, can I please ask you to smash a like on this video? It would mean so much to me. If we hit over 400 likes, I guarantee you that any SPAC stock you invest in in future will go up over 300%. It's a guarantee. It's a fact. It's not actually a guarantee. Please subscribe if you're new around here. We are on the final stretch to 10,000 subs. And when we hit that number, I have a video coming out with two extremely exciting announcements that I cannot wait to share with you guys. And lastly, please drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the company as a whole and the video as a whole. And with all of that being said, guys, let's get into our first point of today. So I'll make this really quick, but what is a SPAC stock? And SPAC stands for a Special Purpose Acquisition Company, okay? And a SPAC is a company with no commercial operations that is formed strictly to raise capital through an initial public offering for the purpose of acquiring an existing company. It's a quicker and easier way for a company to go public. So one example that everybody is going to be familiar with is Nikola, okay? VTIQ was the SPAC, they then went ahead and acquired Nikola and they changed the ticker symbol to NKLA. So right now, Lancadia Holdings, ticker symbol LCA, is the SPAC and when they acquire GNOG, the ticker symbol will change to GNOG. Okay, now, number two, and what's more important, is some of GNOG's highlights. So we understand a little bit more about the company before we try and, you know, get into the ins and outs of it. So they started operation in New Jersey in the fourth quarter of 2013. So all in all, a relatively new company. And they became profitable very quickly in 2016. They were the first online gaming company to launch a live dealer in the US. That's something I love to see, okay, because I see they are those innovators. They have the ideas and they implement them. They try to stay ahead of the curve, which is always something I as an investor love to see. They won industry award as top operator three years in a row. They were the first to launch live casino floor in US and they had a net income of over $11 million in 2019. So that's another thing that's important to keep in mind. And important to understand that the transaction is expected to close in the third quarter of this year. So very soon. Next up, Tillman J. Fertitta will remain GNOG's chairman and CEO and Thomas Winter, who was brought in to develop Golden Nugget's online gaming business, will continue to serve as GNOG's president. During the seven years since Winter started Golden Nugget's iGaming business in New Jersey, revenues and profitabilities have grown each year despite facing competition with greater financial resources reaching profitability in 2016. So that's great, they're going to keep the CEO, they're going to keep the president, these people have shown that they know what they're doing. Now we're going on to point number three, okay, and we're going to speak about online gambling. And is this an industry that is actually growing? And here's a nice chart, okay, US online gambling markets by size, by type 2016 to 2027. Obviously 2027 is projections, but we can see 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, there has been really nice growth. The global online gambling market size was valued at 53.7 billion dollars in 2019 and is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 11.5% from 2020 to 2027. So if Golden Nugget Online Gaming can be the biggest player, or at least one of the biggest players, there is most certainly an awful lot of room to grow. And breaking it down country by country for gambling profits, we see China and the US topping the list. World gambling statistics show that around 26% of the population gamble. That means around 1.6 billion people worldwide gamble. 
and 4.2 billion gamble at least once every year. Is there a bigger market than that aside from food and water? So the numbers would suggest that there definitely is massive room for growth in a company like this. And they're already well established, they've been profitable since 2016. And something I want to touch off quickly while we're speaking about this, okay? Golden Nugget Online Gaming is affiliated with the Golden Nugget, so that's Landry's Hospitality Gaming and Restaurant Business, owned and operated by the billionaire Timon Fertitta, who we mentioned earlier on, who also owns the Houston Rockets. Very, very rich man behind these guys. The online gaming business has begun operations in 2013, as we said, and has seen a 50% compound annual growth rate revenue since 2014. Now, before we get to the really exciting stuff, what will the acquisition actually look like? The transaction values the combined company at an anticipated pro forma enterprise value of approximately $745 million, or 6.1 Genog's estimated 2021 revenue of 100 122 million dollars. Lancadia will be assuming 150 million dollars of GNOG debt and will pay down at closing an additional 150 million dollars of its debt plus pay prepayment fees, transaction fees and expenses. And right here, the combined company will have at least 80 million dollars on its balance sheet and an anticipated pro forma equity market cap of nearly 700 million dollars. That's what we can expect things to look right off the bat. Now, the most important part of the video, part number five, okay? Their investor presentation that literally just came out June 29th. I won't go through everything or else I will be here all day long, but again, I do heavily advise you check this out after this video. I will go through what I deem to be some of the most important information in there. And then after this, we'll speak about whether or not I plan on potentially buying the company. So there is a massive $20 billion plus online market opportunity. The current stay-at-home climate has significantly accelerated consumer adoption of online gaming. This is important. It's a pandemic resistance and scalable business model with 30 plus percent profitability margins. They're a household name in America, okay? They're a well-established leader in New Jersey, which is the largest online gaming market in the US, and they have an award-winning management team with history of successful execution. Okay, so comparing Golden Nugget to GAN and DraftKings, I'm not too worried about GAN. Most of you will be a lot more familiar with DraftKings, so we'll compare them there a lot closer. So this here, their total enterprise revenue revenue to value, okay? You actually want this number to be low, okay? So Golden Nugget is in the best position by far as of right now. But this could be inflated very, very quickly if a lot of people do get into these guys because of hype. Okay, revenue, DraftKings obviously has a whole lot more, is what it is. At the same time, DraftKings has a negative cash flow, Golden Nuggets is positive. Total enterprise revenue, again, DraftKings much, much bigger as of right now. The 2019 to 2024 revenue compound annual growth rate, okay? Golden Nuggets ever so slightly better, it's nothing too crazy. And then the net average revenue per user, okay, Golden Nuggets has much higher. In regards to their TEV, which I just spoke about, this is a very good place to be, but again, this could get spiked very soon if a lot of hype does come behind these guys. And their compound annual growth rate's just in a league of its own alongside DraftKings. Okay, so Golden Nugget is a part of Landry's, okay, and they are a diversified restaurant, hospitality, entertainment, and gaming company with 600 outlets, three hotels, four aquariums, two amusement parks, five Golden Nugget casinos in Atlantic City, Las Vegas, Lachlan, Lake Charles, and Biloxi, 39 states, DC and Puerto Rico, and 42 international units. Massive. They have this massive national network of locations. Season management team of industry experts. Now, the writing's very small, so I'm not gonna try and get you guys to squint at it, but I'll just say they all look fantastic for the business that they're in. Over 15 awards in the last five years. Operator of the year, casino operator of the year, acquisition strategy, best new game. Now we all know that casinos are profitable, you know, the house always wins. Here we're looking at iGaming versus sports betting, okay? And iGaming players place more bets and are seven times more valuable than sports bettors. They play longer, reinvest their winnings quicker, generate a higher hold for the operator and has a higher disposable income than your average online sports better. You know, it's like having a high class client versus a low class client. The high class client is going to be able to pay more for your services. Now look at this, the milestones of Golden Nuggets online gaming. So these numbers in millions, these are their gross gaming revenue. So the amount that people bet versus the amount that, you know, Golden Nugget made. And it's gone from one, two, three million. It's just gone up and up and up. The first quarter of 2020 was at 19 million, up from 17 million the previous quarter, 15 million the quarter before, and it's forecasted to go 27, 26, 24 million. So it's only been accelerated by the lockdowns, you know, by people not being able to go to normal casinos, even more people are moving online. And I'm sure that a lot of people will enjoy being able to bet from the comfort of their own home and will stick with these guys. And we've touched on this a few times, okay, but huge US iGaming opportunity, okay, today. They have about 13% of an $800 million iGaming market immediate opportunities, okay? 12% of a $2.5 billion gaming market. And future opportunities is about a 10% of a $22 billion stake. 
And the last little graph we're gonna have a look at, okay? Again, there's loads more information on here. I do urge you to check it out. The Casino GGO, we already touched on this. It's just gone up and up at mental rates. Their advertising as a percentage of GGR has gone down and down and down. And their EBITDA as a percent of GGR is going up. So they have a proven ability to deliver market beating growth and EBITDA margin through improving player retention and ARPU over time. A highly engaged and valuable base of player base reduce reliance on marketing spend currently at 16% GGR. That's the thing about having a loyal fan base, especially people who gamble. They like to gamble a lot, not every now and again, a lot. Okay, so do I plan on buying? I'm quite sad to say that I actually was going to buy them yesterday when I saw them hit $15 a share. And I didn't. And I would have made, you know, what, nearly 10%. In three trading days, these guys are up 62%. In three trading days... Shell, Tordas Acquisition, Hillion, whatever you want to call them, they were up nearly 80%. It was followed by a bit of a sell-off and then a big boom again. I have to say, I believe in the company. Now, it's the kind of company I'm not willing to put an awful lot of money into because no matter what, a SPAC is going to be somewhat riskier than a normal investment. But it's like I said in my last video, okay? If you want the high reward, sometimes you have to be willing to take the high risks. So honestly, I do plan on opening a position in these guys. More than likely today or tomorrow, I haven't decided just yet, probably today, but it's only gonna be more than likely 10 to 15 shares. It's not gonna be a massive position because I don't have that kind of money to throw into these really high risk companies. And you know what? I've missed out on a lot of these other SPACs. I've missed out on a lot of these other speculation type stocks that I have believed in. So it's time to start, you know, following my gut to an extent and taking some risks. Now I definitely understand that this isn't gonna be one for everybody. I understand the risks that are associated with it. It's a new company, but I've done my research. I like what I see. Now I'm not gonna say that I 100% definitely, completely and utterly am going to buy them I will say that I more than likely will buy 10 to 15 shares. So guys that is it for today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed and again I do completely and utterly urge you to go out and do more research into this company before you even consider investing because as I just made a big point about there is a lot of risk associated to any company who is just going public. If you watched till the end and you haven't yet please do hit that like button and please do hit that subscribe button. Those things genuinely help me out so much and drop me a comment down below. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. I will see you for tomorrow's video. Peace.